Man, it's almost January. You see that? You see this weather? Beautiful. Beautiful weather, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Grown man business. Oh, man, I got the wrong hat on. It's all good. We still going to talk about football. Grown man business. By the way, check out Red Go Sports Talk. We're talking about NBA, basketball, and all the other sports. Baseball, UFC, boxing, everything. This is Red Ghost 1. We are number one. Where we talk strictly football. I'm going to talk strictly football, even though I got a Brooklyn Nets hat on. All right. Yesterday, Sunday, upset Sunday. This game wasn't an upset because I knew Cardinals were going to beat the Packers. I just didn't know they were going to beat the brakes off the Packers. <sighs> okay. Arizona Cardinals beat the Green Bay Packers 38-8. to Wow. I thought they were going to shut them out like, uh, like Carolina did uh, the Falcons, man. Amazing game, baby. Amazing game. I'm talking about Arizona Cardinals are for real, man. Carolina Panthers got to worry. They got a problem on their hands, man. <laughs> Tell you the truth, the whole NFC got a problem on their hands. Seattle Seahawks, they lost to the Rams. And <laughs> Carolina Panthers lost to the Falcons. All right. Arizona Cardinals have a chance to get to the number one seed going into the playoff. They already clinched a bye. They already got a first round bye. They're going to rest. Hey, most of, they, most of that team is healthy. Most of their team is healthy. Honey Badger and maybe one other guy on defense is hurt. But <laughs> they backups. Okay. Kyrie and Brian Lutz. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. Check out Kyrie Cars Cast. Big time Arizona fans. Kyrie and Brian Lutz. They have um, a podcast. Good, good, good sports show, man. Very good sports show. Check them out, man. They that's their team, Arizona Cardinals, and man, they got a lot to be proud of. They got a lot to be proud of. They got a lot to be happy about, man. So check out this show. But I was talking to them brothers uh, throughout the whole week, actually, because uh, they was bummed out about Honey Badger. He got hurt. I, I'm, I'm bummed out because I like Honey Badger, man. I liked him when, when he was with uh, LSU. And uh, I hated that he got hurt, man, with uh, the hamstring, man. On this, I think it was his left leg this time. Last time he got hurt, I think it was last season or the season before, it was a, a, a ACL on his right leg, the opposite leg, man. And he, it kept him out most of the, well, the whole year, I think. And uh, he's going to miss the playoffs. He's going to be a player coach now. But they back up. They're backups. The nickels and, and the cornerbacks. The nickel, man. The boys are just as good. They were intercepting Aaron Rodgers how many times? They, it, the defense is ready, baby. That defense looked di um, dangerous, man. That kind of reminded me of the uh, uh, St. Louis Rams back when uh, Kurt Warner and, uh, and uh, Marshall Falk when they won the Super Bowl. They, they remind me of the St. Louis Rams in a lot of ways, man. That defense. That defense with London Fletcher. The defense is, is alive, man. They scoring touchdowns. They made they sat Aaron Rodgers two times, made him fumble, and they ran in there for a touchdown. Oh my God. I was screaming so much at that TV. That was an exciting game, man. That, that was an exciting game. I told everybody, Arizona Cardinals is the most complete team in the NFL. The NFL got, got a lot to worry about right now. Even Denver Broncos, my Denver Broncos, if we gotta see. Uh, we gotta see the Arizona Cardinals 
in the Super Bowl. It's going to be some problems, man. I, I would love to see that. Tell you the truth, our defense against their defense, I would love to see that. But let me tell you something. That's something they got that's, that, that's uh, as of right now, it's a little bit better than ours. And that's the quarterback, Carson Palmer. Okay, Peyton Manning still hurt. Granted. Brock Osweiler, he's still young, too. You know, he's, he's developing experience as he, as he go right now. Tonight is, is going to show a lot about his character, a lot about his heart. Tonight's going to show a lot because the Bengals got some good defense, too. Reggie Nelson, Pro Bowl selector. He's, a, he's one of the top safeties in the league right now, man. Former uh, uh, Florida Gators. You know, the guy, he, he's healthy this year. You know, he had some injury problems when he first got in the league. Even last year he was hurt. But now he's healthy and he's playing better than ever. I think he's leading all safeties and in, in interceptions. So tonight's going to say a lot about Brock Osweiler and uh, our offense against uh, – the Bengals. But let's talk about Constant Palmer, man. I'm going to give you his stats right now. His completion, completion percentage, 64.5%. He has 4,542 total yards passing right now. 34 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions. And his quarterback rating is 106.8. I think he's number one in rating, man, quarterback rating. He's better than his, his stats, and his quarterback rating is better than Tom Brady. And I think he's better than uh, uh, Cam Newton also. I got to check that. I got to check his stats when I get back inside, man. But that game against Green Bay, I know Green Bay. I told everybody I wasn't impressed about that Dallas, uh, that win over Dallas. But... The way Carson, uh, Carson Palmer played, man, he he. It's a tight race between him and Cam Newton for the MVP. It's a tight race. It's real close. Now the Arizona Cardinals going to end the season, the regular season, playing against Seattle Seahawks, and I'm gonna say they're gonna win. I'm going for Arizona Cardinals. The Rams just gave everybody the pedigree, the formula on how to beat Seattle. When Carson Palmer win this game, and he's going to win big, it might help him win the MVP. You heard it first. You heard it first. Uh, Carolina Panthers, who who they playing? I forgot who they playing, man. Now, if Carolina mess up and lose this game here, Arizona Cardinals will be in that number one seed. And it's going to be hard to win in Arizona. If you any team that's going up against them, home field advantage is very important, baby. I'm going to end on that note. Grown man business.